video I am going to show the differences between the square pitch and the triangular pitch. So what I am going to do is I am going to calculate the equivalent diameter for each of these. So first let's see the diagram for the square pitch. So in square pitch the tubes are arranged in such a way that we can draw a square through the center of each of these circles. So this is how the square pitch looks like. And now for triangular pitch. So for triangular pitch the arrangement of the tubes will be in this manner such that through the centers we can draw a equilateral triangle like this. So now in this diagram the tube pitch is given by this. This length is known as the tube pitch let me denote it with PT. And for here this is the tube pitch PT. So these are the tube pitch so let me write it. So this PT is the tube pitch. Now. The diameter of these tubes, the diameter of these tubes I will take as DO. The diameter of these tubes I will take it as DO. Same for this case. The diameter of this I will take it as DO. So let me write this also. So this DO is the tube outside diameter. Now the equivalent diameter, the equivalent diameter is given by. So the equivalent diameter is given by 4 into free area divided by the weighted perimeter. So we are going to calculate this equivalent diameter for both of these. So first for the square pitch I will draw this diagram again. So the equivalent diameter I just showed it is equal to 4 times 4 times the free area divided by free area divided by the weighted perimeter weighted perimeter. So in this figure the free area so this is the free area this is the free area. So to calculate this we need to calculate the area of this square and subtract the area of this circles that is these portions these four uh, area of this quarter circles from this entire area of this square. So the area of this square will be given by PT square PT square because this is the tube pitch which is PT PT and now the radius of these circles the radius of these circles I just showed it is equal to DO which is the tube outside diameter. So these are DO. So we have. So to calculate the area of 4 of these circles, 4 of these quarter circles, it becomes a area of 1 single of this. So area of 1 of this is equal to pi DO square by 4. So this is the area of this portion, this portion and this portion, this portion combined. So I will subtract this from this entire square which is PT square minus pi DO square by 4. So this will give the area of this red portion, area of this red portion, which is the free area. So now I have free area, all I need is the weighted perimeter. So to find the weighted perimeter, I find I need to find this perimeter of this black shaded portion, black shaded portion, which is basically the rim of this red colored red shaded portion. So it will be equal to the circumference of one entire circle because uh, these I have four quarter circles. So if I so if I add four of these, if I add four of these, I will end up getting one circumference of one of these circles. So it is equal to the weighted perimeter will be equal to pi do pi do because do is the radius. So this ends up being four into four into pt square minus pi do square divided by four whole divided by pi do. So this is the expression for the equivalent diameter of the square pitch of the square pitch. So now we will do the exact same calculation for a triangular pitch. So for triangular pitch what we need to find first is the free area. So we know that the D equivalent is equal to 4 into free area free area divided by the weighted perimeter weighted perimeter. So here the free area is, so this red portion in the middle is the free area, is the free area. So to calculate this we need to find the area of this entire triangle, area of this triangle and subtract the area of this smaller circular pieces. So the area of this triangle we know that the side is, that this side is PT and the, and the diameter of this circle, the diameter of these are DO. So we know this, now what I will do is. We know that the area of this triangle is given by the area of a equilateral triangle which is root 3 by 4 times pt squared. This is the area of this entire triangle because this is a equilateral triangle. So now this angle, this angle, these are 
60 degrees these angles these are all 60 degrees so to find the area of this part of this circular portion because we need to subtract three of these from the triangle to get the area of this red portion so this part will be for i will calculate it over here so for 360 degrees for 360 degrees i know that the full area of the circle is pi d naught whole square by 4 so for 60 degrees the area will be pi d naught whole square by 4 into 60 by 360 so if i do the simplification this becomes 1 by 24 so pi d naught whole square by 24 this is the area but remember this is for one single piece so i have three of these pieces so i have to multiply three so what i get is pi d naught whole square by 8 this is what i get so this will be subtracted from this pi d naught whole square by 8 so this is the free area that is this portion this free area is calculated all i need to do is find the weighted perimeter now weighted perimeter is so in the same diagram if you see the outline the outline of this red portion this is the weighted perimeter so to calculate this i will find the circumference of this smaller portion of the smaller portion of one circle and multiply it with three so for one circle it is 360 degrees so for 360 degrees it is given by pi d this is the this is the circumference so for 60 degree it will be pi d by 360 into 60 so this is given by this is given by uh, pi d naught pi d naught by 6 so i have 3 of this i will multiply with 3 and i get pi d naught by 2 this is the this is the uh, weighted perimeter so now i have the expression the d equivalent will be the d equivalent for triangular pitch will be equal to 4 times of the free area which is this expression so i will write it down root 3 by 4 root 3 by 4 pt square minus minus pi d naught whole square by 8 pi d naught whole square by 8 divided by the divided by the weighted perimeter which is pi d naught by 2 so this is the d equivalent for the triangle for the triangular pitch d equivalent for the triangular pitch so the last important point is the hydraulic radius so remember that the equivalent diameter is four times the hydraulic radius so what we calculated the free area free area by weighted perimeter this is equal to the hydraulic radius free area free area divided by the weighted perimeter weighted perimeter this is nothing but equal to the hydraulic radius and when i multiply 4 with it i get the equivalent diameter so this was all about square pitch and triangular pitch thank you